In this update, I wanted to continue working on the museum, focusing on the interior design, and for too little that won't happen. My time is now very limited because I've become father for the fourth time. Our little Leon was born healthy on the May 20, weighing 20,000 grams, and we arrived for weeks early than expected. But it's not just my time that's limited. Financially, I also constrained due to the parental time leave, and that's why I partnered with Webrick. They provided me and with the two sets and two tiles, on the light blue screen and the other in the dark blue screen. Each set weights one kilogram, which is exactly how much my youngest son weights right now. They are going to use an all the toth today. I also received the parts for another tram, which lay on that plane for my city, and I think I talk about enough one and everything else. It's time to finally start building. Well, we finishing the road here and it already repaired the base, laying it out completely with plates. Now we'll add at the tiles for the road. I don't think I need to explain how I'm paving on the road right now. It's going to be fairly straightforward. So I'll quickly say a few words about Webrick. First, I definitely want to thank them for the parts they provided. Otherwise, his huge update wanted to have been possible today. You can find the link to Webrick in the info. It's definitely worth checking out, especially with the huge color selection they offer. And the cost, they are amazing prices. They are unbelievable in the whole building block, market with their quality and shipping. Then we'll finish up the regular tiling work. The side part will be a bit more interesting because there's a curve up front. That's why I can't follow a regular start grind anymore. That's why a new style base. This way I can easily place the streets roads on the tile. These roads are very simple in construction and I just played this attached on top. The forms the road. For the curve I used two plates and two tiles. Here on the straight section I used longer plates which is causing me a bit of trouble. Because of the long plates there's more tension on all the elements. As a result, the front lifts up slightly. I hope this will settle later when the road is extended and the additional pressure from all the elements causes everything to lay flat nicely. As for the road now layout, it's still in road and rather an entrance missing. There is where a backyard will eventually be. It will be built over the next houses and that comes after the cinema. Then it will be a sort of driveway and the road layout in the new neighborhood should be complete. Next I'm going to work on the green strip along the tram tracks. This has been a troublesome in usual. I've been quite a bit of time and on a previous precedence dealing in the entire tram line and the green strip. So a big thank for you and all the tips. They were really great and have been very helpful to me. Many comments suggest that I should solve the problem using one by one platers. I did that, but I didn't arrange that I'm calling into stats, instead placing them quite randomly so it looks and white little chaotic which is in harness, it's exactly how the green strip should look. And if you look at the pictures of tramway green stripes, they are always be maintained, excepted for perhaps some newspaper scraps or litter. However, I deliberately, with the keeps and city, clean and down use litter to add color accents. I'm touched on the detail of the green strip and the road at the end of the episode. For now, I want to continue with a rough construction. I also explained the table at the beginning of the episode. The top table here. A row of houses is supposed to be built there and the lower tabletop is where street is supposed to be constructed, leading to a bridge that will then connect or detect neighborhood. I must say, I put a lot of thought into how to build the street and whether I should make the straight or perhaps include a curve. I spent a long time thinking and experimenting and then decided to solve it again using one to two plates and one to two tiles 
and despite the constabulary effort involved, I will include a curve. It just looks much better when you're breaking on the pattern. It makes city full much more realistic. Although it's a lot of work, it really requires a lot of materials. You need a lot of one to zero plates and one to zero tiles. The one tiles were free, but as for the one to two plates, I used a huge number of them in the bed date. But the important thing is that the final result works at will. These streets elements are connected with these rounded plates, which nicely allow the curve to be bent and keep everything together. Advantages at had can also attach to retaining walls right there. They have also been bent into this curve. And it creates a great picture. From the bridge subsection, I always mechanic in using technic bricks and pins to connect them. In my option, this gives the test stability, even though the parts box has become significantly impaired again. But for stability, it's just extremely important to build everything properly from the start, especially here, so that the bridge doesn't eventually sag over time. The support elements are also placed on these middle pellets. They are tile incorporated there as well, just like on the support elements. I also attach tiles to the cobble dialies, everything in case tension arises later. This way everything is somewhat structurally separated. Let's take a look to the whole sense from the front. It already looks really good from here, but by the point it was certainly driven by adaption to complete the bridge and deliver a sand picture. I don't even want to take about uh, the financial respect. It's crazy how many parts went into the structure to enter the bridge is fully closed from above. You can already see that there are different heights in the road. Here is a roadway by the sidewalk. It's elevated by one plate in high. Everything needs to be leveled to out plates to achieve the different heights in the roadway. My son and I quickly tie the whole thing. He worked on the roads while I took care to the green stripe and the cobblestone paving in the arm tracks. I've also added lighting to the sands. Four more street lights have been installed. My thanks go to Lee Light Go for following me in Infali Beach to the city of Farbali. And then we look at the picture. The green stripe looks really stunning. The longer it is, the better it looks. This scene has turned out so brilliantly. You can really see the curve on the bridge nicely here. It turned out incredible well. The only thing that still bothers some is the left side where you can see under the plate. I'll address that in the next update episode. And here's your entire saint from above. You can also see the curve on the road nicely and how distracting the left side of the wooden board still is. Additionally, the green stripe is still quite simple. So I I quickly told you and Yad said added some planes and placed a few trees. This makes everything look much more natural, friendlier and livelier than before. I'm still unsure about the trees, whether they might interfere with the overhead line. I'll see about that in the next episode. This is where I'll continue with the overhead line. Then I'll find to figure to how the road will end here and the left side it's still quite barren. I might place one for two more trees there. But I decide on that once the row of houses is completed. The corner building will mark the start of the row of houses. I've already started working on it and I took about an hour. I had to use the parts I currently have available. Some things will probably change, especially color-wise, but I'm very satisfied with the basic idea with the fence in front of the house and the small front garden. I also think it adds a nice touch to the street where the house is directly next to the sidewalk. I'm still considering whether to align the house with the direction the road is currently running or to stick on the top-down grid. That way I would have my 90-degree angel. As it stands, the whole house is slightly slanted. But I thought I was important to close the gap at the bottom, even if it would take some time aboard to tackle the house. 
Looking at the picture here, it actually looks really, really good. On the other side, the house on the right side is still missing. And I have the parts, so maybe I'm tackle that in the next episode, okay? Then a few the city will change completely when the white wall on the gas station is gone. And before I signed out the beginning on the episode, I showed the tram parts that we brick provided me with. The colors are different from the first tram. I only changed the colors from red red to white and from white to red to create a colored contrast between the trams. It definitely looks really good. And I show you how the tram runs in the next episode, so stay tuned, subscribe to the channel and see you soon and ciao.